Well, you talk about a discussion today uh, regarding Latroy Guyon. Um, you know, look, we never said the Packers have to cut ties with him. We never said the Packers were wrong in bringing him back. And I certainly never said that, you know, Latroy Guyon doesn't deserve a fourth or fifth chance or whatever this may be. My point was that when all of this happened, when he got busted with the guns and the drugs and the car and the money and... You know, there was a lot of people that came to his defense and really open, open-mindedly open wanted to believe that he was going to buy a house for his mother. And you know what? I've always said, if it looks like a duck and it acts like a duck and it quacks like a duck, you gotta believe it's pretty much a duck, okay? We all, we all get that. But I think as fans, this goes back to like the Ryan Braun scenario. You know, we're gonna finger point at Barry Bonds and Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire but if it's our guy, well, you have to you have to learn to love it. You have to be that fan. You have to be the supporter. And all I'm saying was is that there's a bit of hypocrisy when it comes to being a fan. But the whole Packer way, if you will, don't don't segregate yourself as if you're up on a pedestal and you are so much better than everybody else when it comes to off the field stuff that you don't have character issues, that you've got high quality, high character guys in the locker room. You'd like to think so, and certainly, I mean, this apparently is a guy that the Packers liked enough to bring back, the Packers believed it enough to bring back, and Mike McCarthy, as he said, it's our process, it's been a decade, and we're very proud of it. We have a right to be a proud of it. You've been a good organization. But don't, <laughs> don't, as fans, try to pull the wool over the eyes and say, well, wait a minute, you can't talk about this, or it's a garbage... Uh, report? No, it's a factual report. All it did was expound upon a guy that you brought back into your locker room at a time in which the NFL is completely hypersensitive to domestic violence and any type of off-the-field issues. So it is a legitimate question. It is a legitimate report. And it's not the media. The media didn't deflate footballs. The media didn't go after Greg Hardy. The media didn't invent the story about Adrian Peterson. And the media is not inventing the story about Latroy Guyon. All they did was expound upon it. But yet when passions for fans get in the way, suddenly it's the media's fault. And, and that I take great offense to. Um, just for the fact that we don't make it up. It just is what it is. C did they hold the story off? Maybe they did. During the bye week, it might be a good story to break. Maybe they just held it off a little bit longer than, than necessary. I don't know. I wasn't in the uh, Journal Sentinel, you know, editor's room when they decided to, to run the story. But I think what the Packers are going to do, and I've stated this before, is let this play out. See how he is as a teammate. See how he takes advantage of his fourth or fifth chance or whatever it may be. And then if the Packers feel that this guy's trustworthy enough to bring back for yet another season or he gives them something, by all means, they'll end up keeping him. But if he doesn't, they'll cut him loose because taking the blows for something like this probably just isn't worth the headache. But uh, just be honest. You know, if you're a fan and you just don't care, that's fine. Say it. But don't pontificate about how great you are and about how this is all made up problems for a guy that really, historically, has been kind of a bad guy. And that's about it. Nothing more, nothing less. And like I said, I'm not demanding anybody gets fired. I'm not demanding anybody lose their job. I'm not demanding that he gets cut loose or anything like that. I'm just simply saying this is the way it's probably going to play out. McCarthy said, for the most part, exactly what I thought he would say. And now you wait and see. It's as simple as that. But what a discussion today. Man, certainly got a lot of people's passions going, didn't it?